Hey everyone, how are you? Can you say hi, Loki? Hello! We have a friend here today. He has nothing to do with this video, but of course, mom life, quarantine life. I don't really have a choice sometimes. A crying baby needs to be in the intro. Anyway, today we are doing a makeup video and we are focusing on makeup hacks from TikTok. We're gonna test them out. We've got four different hacks that have to do with concealer and foundation routines and I'm gonna try them out and we're gonna put them to the test because what better way to do this than just to test out these viral hacks. I love TikTok, I think it's such a fun escape. So I think you guys are gonna really like this video. Um, but before we do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button so we can be friends. Let's be friends on social media where I post a lot more regularly than I do here on YouTube, so especially on Instagram stories. So if you wanna see some TikTok makeup hacks, make sure you just keep on watching and let's test them out. Let's have some fun, cause it's gonna be fun. The baby's gone, I don't know what he's getting into, so I have got to get this video wrapped up, okay. Let's get started with the first hack. The first hack is actually like an eyebrow, also concealer sort of situation. Let's just watch this together. I'm gonna show you a hack to have perfect eyebrows. For my routine, eyebrows are the first step. Now what you're gonna do is take your concealer, and this looks scary, but you're just gonna go and blend it out. I'm only gonna do this on one to show you the difference. Also, don't come for me that this don't match my skin because my face has a lot of redness, but my skin actually pulls really yellow. Next, just fill in your brows as normal. I'm using a brow powder. Now, clean them up with that same concealer and a flat brush. These are the brows. Now, let me show you the differences. This one is perfectly carved out. It seamlessly blends into the skin because the concealer was already there. Whereas this one, you kind of can tell it was carved out. Okay, we get the point. Basically, she, you can see in the video where she just puts concealer directly over her brows, blends it out, and then fills in her brow. It looks like a cleaner brow. That's called a carved out brow, which a lot of people with very glam makeup like. I do like a very carved out bra. I like to carve out brow every now and then. We're just gonna give it a try because this is probably going to be a very heavy makeup look today that we're doing. I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in vanilla and you're just supposed to put it, this feels so counterintuitive. I already feel like I'm doing some sort of drag makeup already. This does not feel right. I feel like this would need to dry down a little bit before I go in with my brow pencil, otherwise it's going to be skipping over it. So I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline uh, Brow Ultra Slim pencil. I'll speed this up right here, but we're just gonna go and do the brows. Quite honestly, I'm having a few issues with this right now. I'm actually going to probably need to go in with the powder, so I just grabbed my It Cosmetics Brow Power Powder. And because I feel like the brow hairs are actually like tinted concealer color, and I don't like the way that it looks, so I'm going to try and fix this with putting a little of the powder in it and see if that helps like retint my eyebrow hairs back to their color. You guys, to be completely honest, I hate the way they look. Here's the problem with that one. It makes you use so much more brow product on your hair to try to cover up the concealer on your actual brows than it actually does helping carve out the brow. Like it's not worth it for the brow carve with how much freaking brow product you have to use to cover, like to retint your eyebrows, if you will. I don't like this, I do not recommend this. It makes no sense to me and I will never do that again. That was a fail. <laughs> the next one is for your foundation, a different way to apply your foundation in kind of a different order. You've probably seen this one. This one was super popular. Over 4 million views on this one. If you wear makeup, watch. Change your whole routine and try this instead. Moisturize first. Then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one and I just lightly dab it all over my face. Not too much. Then take some setting spray. It could be any setting spray. I usually use the NYX one. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also, wait for the setting spray to dry first. Then just put on your foundation 
and just see what happens. That's basically that one. You're supposed to use a moisturizer, which I already moisturized, but I'm gonna use a little bit more. This is the Tula Do Your Thing Oil-Free Gel Cream. I didn't wanna use a heavy moisturizer. I just wanted my skin to feel more prepped, but it's been about like four hours since I put a moisturizer on. So moisturize, right? And then she says to take a bit of translucent powder and that she has the Fit Me one, which I have as well. You're supposed to put a little bit of of setting powder, lightly dust the setting powder all over your moisturized face. All right, just a light amount. Then she says, after that, you are supposed to go in with a setting spray. I have it too. And you're supposed to spray your face with the NYX setting spray and let the setting spray dry. So I'm gonna spray my face, let it dry, and I'll be right back. It feels dry to me, I think. <laughs> then she says to go in with your primer. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Foreless Putty Primer. Just stick my fingers into the, and then just dab the primer on. Primer is on, and then she said just to go in with your foundation and then move on with the rest of your life. My skin does feel very smooth right now, I'm gonna say that. So I'm using my Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. This is one of my favorite medium natural finish foundations. I didn't wanna go in with something too matte or something too full coverage because I wasn't sure how this other stuff was going to deal with being on my skin before I put my foundation on. foundation is on and I honestly think my skin looks so good. It looks really nice and I used the sponge to blend it in today because I thought I really wanted it to be as like kind of as light and as airbrushed of a focus as I could get it. I did use the brush a little bit to kind of blend spots in. I like to somehow bounce back and forth between those two tools. My skin, I mean it looks really good. We'll see how long it lasts. Like it does it doesn't I mean it feels kind of like I have a little bit more on my face than normal, but it looks really pretty and flawless. So, we've got a two more to watch, but both about your concealer. Obviously, we're doing concealer and foundation hacks. This one is concealer placement. You're doing a concealer completely wrong. I'm sure you've seen people do this all over social media and it's completely incorrect. It does nothing for your face and it highlights in all the wrong spots. Try doing this instead. Do this shape instead. Doing it like this is actually gonna lift your eye and highlight the parts of your face that need to be highlighted, not this whatever that is. Let me blend it out and show you what I mean. Okay, it's all blended out and as you can see, this side here, the eye is much more lifted and the face just is more proportionate. Whereas this side, you're real heavy on the cheek. Like right, right here. The highlights there, which that's where your eye goes to. This is very smooth and in one direction. Okay, so I actually agree with this quite a bit. I think a lot of people are misconstruing that triangle shape thinking that the triangle needs to go down literally like triangles this way when honestly the triangle really needs to be going more in a lifting motion that way and I do still do a little bit of a triangle I've been doing this lately where I've been lifting it out this way instead of for it going down because you don't want a lot of coverage on the cheek you want it to give you that nice lift I agree with him but I am going to do what he said with exact placement I'm going in with the born this way concealer again he placed a lot of it I'm going in with a lighter shade this time placed it right there he has a little of this going on to the nose which I don't do as much but I want to do this I, I actually concealed my nose a little bit more and then he's got a little bit of coverage going this way. All right, let's do the other side. I look so cute, I really do. He has another video too where he's like, let the concealer sit and I've been doing this too, where you just let it sit a little bit so it's not gonna blend out as easily and you're gonna get more coverage. I kind of feel like this was a lot of concealer that I put on right now, but we'll see. I typically use a little less, but I could be wrong, I'm gonna let this sit a minute. Let's blend this out. I like this aside from how much concealer ended up being here because it just kind of blended all th throughout my nose, which is fine. But I do like the placement of the concealer like down here and up this way. I feel like it's a much better placement. And if you're gonna do like that little V triangle thing, 
it's much better for that to be higher up and back this way because your dark circles are not down here and your cheekbone is really high up. So that is really good advice. I just feel like it was a little too much concealer for me in the nose area, like right here. That's just a little too much and I don't want that to get too cakey. Last trick we're gonna listen to today has to do with setting your concealer. I look so ghastly right now. I need some bronzer, like I really do, but we'll get there. The last has to do with setting your concealer and making sure it doesn't crease underneath your eyes. And this is coming from a mature lady, which I was like, okay, I'm gonna trust you. And I'm 37, so. Wait, 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 women over 40, wait a minute. I've got a tip for you. If you're not women over 40, you can probably just No, I need stuff. to be here. That's how I was supposed to do that, right? <laughs> okay, so you know how you put concealer under your eyes and it looks fine, and then like 10 minutes later, it's all like creasy and crepey and weird, and all the young girls are like putting baking powder or baking under their eyes, and you try that, and then you look like 20 years older? Huh, <laughs> same. Put your concealer under your eyes. I already did that part. Then take some setting spray. Spray it onto the back of your hand. Now dip your finger in it and just put a little bit on here and tap it under your eyes. Just keep tapping, going back and forth just like this until the setting spray dries. You'll feel it dry. Then take your setting powder, but not that much, and just really lightly set that under your eyes. Like, do you see the difference? It's like the best trick I've got. All right, my concealer is already on and make sure all of the it's all blended out We have no lines no creases then she says to take your setting spray and spray it on the back of your hand and put it Wait, wait, how do I do this with both eyes at once? So I'm gonna spray this eye to spray this hand too. This is very extra rub your fingers in it and then dab it under your eye and just like kind of keep going with it until it dries so you're tapping it in and patting it in. I need some like waiting music here. I think it's dry because it's tacky. I don't know. Am I supposed to know? We're just gonna go with this. Um, and then you're supposed to take your setting spray a tiny bit. So we're gonna go back into this Maybelline Fit Me translucent powder, which I actually love for under my eyes. But I actually do not bake. I think she has a very great point with when you're not 25, it's just not a great idea to bake very much. It's just using tons of powder on areas that are like pretty dry and a lot more that are aging is just never a good idea. Just lightly tap in the setting powder with a brush. I did not use a ton of powder. I'm just really like going in with that brush and like dusting anything excessive off because I do not want that. Oh girl, that's really smooth. I'm gonna get up real close so you can see. Do you see how smooth this area is? I think I really liked this last one. Um, I don't, I'm still on the fence on how I feel about everything else. I mean, the concealer placement I really like, but this one I think is probably the most immediate, like, yes, that I've seen. I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll be right back to kind of show you my finished face. I'll do one more check-in at the very end of the day before I wash my face so you can see how this all wore. I'll be right back, gotta go put my face on, the rest of my face on. Okay, friends, the makeup look is done and I have a little friend here with me. Can you say hi? Logan's here to help me with the intro and the outro. Um, anyway, I like the way that my makeup looks. I think it looks really good. Oh my goodness. I think the makeup looks good. I have to say the concealer setting spray trick was probably my favorite out of the bunch. The foundation looks really nice and flawless. The concealer placement is good, just a little too much right here. But the brow was trash. Don't even bother with that. I will check in with you guys a little bit later to see how this wears and my final thoughts. So stay tuned for that. Okay, you guys, it's the end of the night and I'm about to wash my face. And I think that concealer trick was so good. The concealer placement, the concealer setting powder thing with the setting spray and even the foundation I feel looks really good. I will say these tricks are definitely for days 
that are not a light makeup day. Like this is for a glam makeup day. So especially the foundation, it feels like I'm wearing a lot more, you know, but I do think that it, it, it did last and it looked really great all day. So I'll give it that. The under eye thing, I'm pretty sure, you know, I could do that whether or not I am having a glam day or not. The placement of the concealer, I could go much lighter with and set it much lighter and kind of adjust that. I just don't know how, with the foundation if I can. I'll have to play around with that. Hated the brow trick, but the other three I think were really great and definitely some stuff that I'm gonna play around with some more and see if I like. That's my opinion. That's me testing a bunch of TikTok makeup hacks with concealer and foundation. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.